The Adelanto Detention Center, which previously housed thousands of undocumented immigrants, may be closing. A group that is calling for the closure held a rally outside Adelanto City Hall this morning. KTLA Vice Pedro Rivera joining us here in the studio with more on the future of the facility. Pedro? The Adelanto Ice Processing Center can hold up to 2,000 immigrants, but since the COVID-19 pandemic, the prison has held just a fraction of its capacity. So while ICE is addressing and assessing the future contract with the center, activists are calling on local elected officials to urge Adelanto facility be closed for good. Downtown down with deportation, up, up with liberation. Outside on the steps of Adelanto City Hall Tuesday, activists are calling for elected officials inside to support the closure of the Adelanto Immigrations and Customs Enforcement Processing Center. When we organize, we win! The group shut down Adelanto Coalition claims ICE and congressional Republicans are urging the Department of Homeland Security to keep the facility open. Reuters reports back in 2022, the Biden administration listed the center as one of six around the country that should be closed or downsized due to high costs. In September of 2020, ICE was blocked from sending more detainees to the center because of the COVID-19 pandemic. That rule is still in place, meaning the center, which can hold up to 2,000 immigrants, is only housing a fraction of detainees. Over the next 60 days, ICE will review its contract with the center to either permanently close the site or remodel. Which is not what we want. We don't even want a temporary closure. That center needs to shut down yesterday. Earlier this year, Geo Group, the company which owns the for-profit prison, was sued by current and former Adelanto detainees claiming toxic chemicals were sprayed at the site, which caused inmates to get sick. This facility, there's a long track record of abuses, of neglect, of horrible medical care, horrible dental care, and it has been all recorded, even by DHS themselves. The pressure is mounting every single phone call, every single march, every single protest, every single action that we've had has led to this moment. And for the next 60 days, we're going to continue to build on that pressure until we finally get that shutdown call from ICE and DHS. I reached out to ICE for comment on the potential closure, the future of the remaining migrants and, and that are being held, and some of the allegations made at today's rally, and so far we have yet to hear back. I should have a decision on the facility's future in mid-February. Live in studio, I'm Pedro Rivera. Back to you.